Hey guys, OniR32 here once again bringing you guys another video. So today I'm going to be installing a alarm system as well as try to install some speakers today. Pretty sure I'm going to install the speakers first and then the alarm system would probably be the next day because that's obviously going to be the hardest thing to do. Um, for this I'll link everything that I bought in the description um, as, as well as like the Viper alarm and also the guide that I'm using to do this because apparently there's not a lot of guides around. Um, for this you actually do need a door actuator for the driver door, not the rest of the doors. The only door that you need is for the driver door because this is the main door as you can probably see right here. If you hit this door, all the other doors lock and unlock, etc, etc. So uh, this door in particular does not have a door actuator. So that's what we're gonna need right now, it's just a door actuator, which I actually do have in the back of my Skyline. Um, the other parts, as far as the speakers, and as well as the alarm system, is going to be at the place where I wanna be installing it. And hopefully I get some footage of it installing, I don't know if I'm actually going to do some of the footage, but I'm just gonna kinda like walk through everything that I did if I don't do it, and I'll be able to kind of explain to you guys what I did and how I did it and stuff like that. I know there's not really a lot of detailed, um, I guess, alarm system install videos for the uh, R32 sedans. So uh, this is probably going to be one of the only ones up there. The only one I could ever find was probably one that was for a coupe, which that's the reason why I know that I need a door actuator. Um, but yeah, other than that... Um, pretty much you just need the alarm system and the door actuator because the door actuator you don't have one in the driver door but anyways enough talking let's get on the road and let's go and get these parts one 999.2 it's so close it is so close come on hit the 40k hit the 40k please yeah 40,000 kilometers Woo! yeah that's freaking awesome, and we're doing it on the highway too. It's really nice. We just hit 40k. Hell yeah! All right, let's keep going. Hey guys, before the video uh, continues anymore, I just want to say that I did not actually get to installing the alarm system. That is going to be in a completely other separate video. Um, I wasn't able to film the front doors, but I do kind of explain how to. Uh, Get the door speakers out of the front doors it's pretty simple for the uh, four doors um, and the rear I'd say is probably the most difficult even though it's not even that bad either but yeah basically I did not do the alarm system so uh, I know at the beginning of the video I said I was gonna get to it I actually did not so that's gonna be a completely separate video anyways uh, let's fast forward to the night um, I kind of filmed the door speakers on the front but it was at night when I first got to it so I couldn't actually uh, pretty much like you know film all of it but I did do the rear and then I kind of explained the front as well so anyways let's get on to the content and uh, show these door speakers all right so this is what it sounds like oh let me turn the ISO a little bit it's gonna be a little this is what it sounds like whenever we have the uh, radio on here uh, this is about yeah, it's about 28 volume. Hey, what's the matter, honey? So. I don't sleep because when I do, all I dream is you. So if you can hear that distortion. Uh, yeah. It really, really sucks. So, uh, anytime bass hits, the distortion kind of gets screwed up and stuff, and it really sucks. So we're gonna get these new radio, these uh, new ones installed. It's already night, you can't already tell, but we're going to uh, try and get this installed tonight. Fortunately, I'm not going to do a video for, um, well, I guess you could say the installation process of uh, doing it. Maybe for the rear, because I'm gonna do the rears tomorrow because it is pretty late. But um, for right now, I'm just gonna do the fronts myself. They're not that hard. I have to do, let me see if I can, okay, so, uh, all you have to do really is just take out uh, a few bolts, uh, you can see there's one, and there's two right there, 
Um, let's see, let's see. There's two right here, and then basically this whole thing just kind of like pulls up. And, um, pulls up and kind of pops out. You do have one bolt right here as well that you should take out, and then you should take out this ashtray first. I forgot to mention that, but everything else is just clipped, so if you have like a little pry tool or something, uh, yeah, you'll definitely be able to uh, do that for sure. But anyways, guys, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow because I'm gonna get this install done, and, uh, and we'll start on the rears hopefully tomorrow. All right, guys, so it is morning time, if you can't tell already, and, uh, yeah, this is the uh, speakers I'm going to be putting in the rear. This is going to be made by Scar Audio. I've heard that they've had very, very good reviews on their quality and everything. So I'm going to be installing that today. And uh, as you can probably already tell, I got the back seats already out. So I'm just going to kind of go over how to take them out and uh, what you should do to take them out on there. So first things first, on the bottom part of the seats, there's going to be these two clips right here. Basically, you just have to pull them up, and uh, it's a little difficult, so I recommend something like a really long like pry bar or something that you can uh, get them out because it was pretty difficult. I was just using uh, this tool right here, which is just a uh, door trim tool, and uh, that made it very difficult. But basically, all you do is you just pull it up, and you pretty much just uh, pull it out. Like, you pull it up, and then you just pull it out. Now for the rear seats, like the uh, the back piece, what you have to do is there's going to be two screws right here, or one screw right here, one screw right there, and that's pretty much it for unscrewing, and you have these little clips, like right here. Basically you just pull up the seat, like upward, and you'll be able to uh, pull them out no problem, just like that. And uh, yeah, that's, it's bas that's basically how to take out the rear seats on there, and I'm... I mean, it's a hot day outside, so I have the seat kind of like sitting up here just so I can give me a little bit of a shade and stuff like that. And as for the uh, back panel piece that's right here, um, all you have to do, there's going to be like just some clips and stuff right here, right here. Actually, I think some of them broke off, which is kind of bad. Yeah, it looks like they broke off because this one broke off right here. That one broke off as well. This one did, so that kind of sucks, but um, at least some of them will still clip back on. Uh, but yeah, pretty much uh, there's just some clips that you just have to take off. Uh, like I said, unfortunately mine broke. And uh, yeah, you're pretty much done with that. So I already got one uh, speaker already undone, as you can probably tell. That is horrible. and. The fronts were exactly like that as well. They were just like that and it sucked really, really bad. So that's why you could probably hear like the real like distortion stuff like that because it didn't have any rim basically. So we're gonna take that off. I mean, just look at that. That's crappy. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off real quick and uh, unhook this little harness. And then uh, we're gonna get to cutting and then putting in the new speakers, so yeah. All right, so just a lot of tugging around and stuff like that. I went ahead and just uh, cut off the whole harness like completely because this has like a plug-in harness for it for factory, but look at this. So this, come on, focus. So this um, speaker has a max wattage of 25 watts. That is... <laughs> Wow, that that is um. Wow, I can't I can't believe that honestly. Uh, it's four ohm, twenty five watt max, eight watts like normal. So that is nuts. So the wattage I'm going to be putting on is uh sixty watts RMS and two hundred watts max. So that's. That's a huge, huge difference. But uh, I'm gonna have to strip out these wires real quick and I'm gonna take a look at the uh, other speakers real quick. I'm pretty sure this one is going to be negative and this one is positive. Because usually uh, the one with the uh, black line, come on, zoom in. Focus, focus, focus. It won't focus. But um, there we go. Uh, the one usually with like the yellow or uh, 
black or white line. Usually that's positive and then the solid one's negative. So, uh, well, or I'm sorry, uh, this is the other way around. So this one's gonna be negative and this one's gonna be positive. So uh, we are going to go ahead and hook these up real quick. I'm gonna strip these off real quick. Uh, hopefully I have some wire strippers or something that I can use. If not, I'm just gonna have to do the old fashioned way with a razor blade, just kind of cut out away. And uh, yeah, it should work. All right guys, and just like that, both the speakers are in. So they're actually fairly simple to install. I mean, honestly, a person that doesn't really have car knowledge but knows about wiring can definitely do this install. I mean, it's just a couple simple steps. And uh, yeah, this is, this is super, super simple to do. If you have basic car knowledge and um, basic kind of like wiring knowledge as well, uh, you'll do great and you'll be able to do it. So we're gonna fire up the car real quick and we're going to see how this sounds before I put everything back together. Make sure everything is good. All right, let's get in here. Have the seat all the way up so I can barely even fit in the front seat. But uh, we're gonna start up the car. Come on, come on, get in there. Got that. Let's see. All right, we're gonna turn the audio down all the way as well. I'm actually gonna pull this seat back so I can actually fit under the steering column. Okay. All right, let me get my phone out real quick because I don't think my Bluetooth is on. Oh, my phone's dead, that's right. Okay. Plan B. Plan B, the backup. Uh, where's it at? Is it in here? There you are. I have a USB just in case I like run out of music on my phone or something. So this will work. I hope. I hope it'll work. Yeah, it'll work. Okay, so we're gonna do this one real quick. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for it. Sounds a lot better. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. Let me t close all the doors real quick. Obviously, it's not a heavy hitter for bass. But it sounds a lot better than what it was. If you turn down the bass, it's gonna be even better. Sounds really, really good. All right. 
right, and there you have it, guys. This is the uh, install we did for the speakers. Um, the speakers were actually fairly simple. Um, like I said, I didn't really show like me actually putting it in there, but I did kind of show like where to uh, you know undo all the stuff and everything and all that. And uh, wiring, pretty much all you have to do is just cut it off. Um, depending on what kind of speaker you got, um, all you have to do is just cut it off. It'll cut the wiring off of the existing harness, strip that, and then uh, just put it on the other speaker. I mean, I don't know what else really to tell you guys about that, but um, yeah, that's it's a fairly simple install. Everything uh, went perfectly well. I mean, everything works perfectly fine. It's getting a little hot in here, so I'm going to open this real quick. But yeah, everything fit perfectly fine. Everything fit well, um, other than the front, but we went through that and we got through that. Uh, I didn't show it, unfortunately, but let me show you real quick. So basically, um, there's four bolts right here. Uh, for the speakers that I did, it wasn't really fitting well. They were actually a little bit smaller, unfortunately. So I just did bolt it up diagonally and uh, they work perfectly fine. There's no rattling, no nothing like that. So that works out pretty well. Um, other than that, uh, I was going to try and get to the alarm system today, but it's going to be, first of all, it's way too hot right now for me to do the alarm system. Um, it's super hot. I mean, as you can tell, I'm already sweating like super bad. Um, I can't wait to get a garage though, so I can do, um, you know, all of that, um, you know, do all like the harder installs and stuff on the inside. So where I can be a lot cooler and, you know, have a lot of, uh, time to really do it and take my time and film all of it too on top of that so uh, garage is going to be coming here within probably a year half a year maybe um, I'm really wanting to uh, do a lot more installs especially in that garage but right now Texas heat it's way too hot to do all that stuff so um, yeah so that's gonna be the speaker install video um, I like I said, I didn't really film me putting anything on the inside, but I showed the steps on how to do it, so I guess that that's worth something. Uh, anyways, guys, hope you guys did enjoy today's video, and uh, stay tuned for a, I guess, a uh, alarm install. I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to do it, because one, I'm going to have to find the time to do it, and two, I'm going to have to um, probably end up... Uh, staying out probably like one or two days to actually finish that install on there because it is a very time consuming uh install for sure but anyways guys hope you guys did enjoy today's video hopefully this helped out a lot of people that were looking for speaker installs on the sedan i know i was looking for a speaker install on the sedan and that's why i decided to make this video so hopefully it helped out a lot more people as well to um do the speaker install so anyways guys Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you all in the next video.